by the way, if anyone wants a laugh, go watch Jesse's video on the Front Row Podcast YouTube page about how he could have been a Bitcoin millionaire from all of his online poker playing years ago because they used to pay in Bitcoin, but nobody knew what it was. Dude. How much money did you miss out on? A couple million? I had, uh, it was 2013, I think. I forget what year it was, but I had, um, yeah, it was like four or five grand in Bitcoin back when it was probably like 10 bucks or something, yeah. five bucks can for somebody, Bitcoin. Can you do the math real quick? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I looked it up that it was, uh, it was at like seven dollars or something like that. At one point during that year, I don't remember what it was when I had it, but at some point during that year, it was like seven bucks. So let's say five thousand divided by seven. So that's seven hundred and fourteen Bitcoin. Let's say, okay. potentially, times what is it that now like twenty twenty thousand? Well, you know, what, Jesse, why let yourself off the hook? Dollars. Let's but let's look at what it was at the high a year or so ago when it hit sixty nine thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it was what you what I, if I had sold then forty nine million dollars over forty nine million dollars, and instead you chose to spend the rest of the decade being a pap on the streets. And at LAX, interviewing celebrities and hounding them and being stressed out about missing shots. Talking to Juliet Lewis <laughs> about uh, Zac Efron uh, being a sex symbol playing Ted Bundy. Uh, Jesse, I'm surprised you're still alive after I know. that. How did hey, you I chose through, the hard road. How did you live through 2020 when Bitcoin was reaching those epic highs? Like, Yeah, you were working at TMZ while this thing was making record highs and then every day you had to sit there and be like any shots jesse jesse what have you shot lately anything good and then you were just like fuck i could be worth 49 million dollars i know i know dude i think about it <laughs> like probably like once a week i'll just like think about it but it, the way i look at it i very likely would have just sold it anyway yeah, you know no, back then because i would have never um everybody you know, once, I, once i see it get up to like let's say 50,000 and then i see it drop down to 20 again i probably would have just sold it been like yeah. this is a scam yeah you well know? listen when it got to 20,000 in 2018 you would have made 14 million dollars <laughs> and you would have been fine <laughs> i would have lost contact with you years ago oh my god go check out the dante greco show ladies Please. and gentlemen support my good friend and uh support me i could have been a bitcoin millionaire i could use your help and uh <laughs> if yeah you could go fund me jesse back up to at least 14 million dollars yeah. so you can feel you know okay are you are you still in crypto do you still own i i i have i stopped actively trading i have a few coins that i'm holding in the hopes yeah. that like when the winter is over in three years they'll come back they probably won't it's probably money that i'll never see again until Trump is reelected, I think that we're uh, we're fucked on crypto. I want well, you know what they say it was. They say it's the Russian war. Like all the Russian oligarchs were pumping up crypto artificially for yeah. whatever reason, you know, hiding their money. And then as soon as Putin started his stupid war, crypto just plummeted. Yeah, that's true. It happened all right around then, and then it got to a point where it's it's flattened out so much. It's it hasn't it, it drops occasionally, but then it goes back up. But it's really been flat for like the past few months. It has not. Yeah. All of the you know, can we stop? I think they've learned their lesson. Let's stop the sanctions. <laughs> yeah, let them put their money back into crypto. Yeah, at least the the oligarchs. Okay, what did they do? Except not they didn't take Putin out. Sorry, they're probably scared of him too. Let so them, is, is it a good time to buy right now and rebuild my crypto portfolio? That's the thing with crypto. You don't know what's going to last at all. I don't know if it's any of it is worth shit, even yeah. Bitcoin at this point, because they've never had this much exposure before. You know, you got Elizabeth Warren coming after it. And, you know, I've met yeah, Elizabeth Warren. And when Warren, I hear people say nice, oh, it, has, but it has utility, when somebody says it has utility, I'm like, utility for what? Yeah, that, that's like a 2020 thing. Like, oh, the utility. No, we yeah. just want to make money with it. Okay, yeah. please. It's, it's just play money.